Welcome to this brief session on how to add a link and PDF file download to your Lions eClubhouse website. As you can see, I'm already logged in. I will select a page where I want to add that download. So I go to Manage Pages. I've selected the page. It takes a lion as where I want that link to appear. I click Edit Live Page. I scroll to the bottom of the page or position where I want that download, and I'll hit the Enter key. As you can see in this case, the paragraphs are center justified. I can just simply hit left justified if I want, or right justify, or whatever. I will first type in the name of what this link is all about. And so this is a... Um, Lions Kid Site USA Consent Form. And then I'll type in the word download. So in this presentation, it identifies what the download is, and then there's a uh, highlighted area where the actual download file will be. I'm going to enter a uh, USB stick to my computer. That could be a memory card or whatever you want to call it. And uh, this will give me a pop-up. It will show me an autoplay and I can open up and I'll verify that the form that I want is there. And as you can see it says consent form 2014-15 English. I'm going to rename this. I'm going to take out the spaces and other symbols that might appear. Because it's going on the Internet, um, a bunch of, of those characters, you know, like an ampersand, an and, uh, and sign, pound sign, percent sign, uh, they don't work in a website address. Now, it could work. It just substitutes it with a letter sequence. It's confusing. So by removing any of those types of letters, it makes it a lot easier for the user in case you're just sharing the link. So we want to add a link, and so I click on the link tool. Okay. Now, I, it's not on the server yet, so I'm going to go to the upload section. I'm going to hit browse, and I'm going to look for that E drive, and here is the consent form that's been renamed. And I'll click Open, and I'll hit Send to Server. Now, for a, a download, I don't want it to take over the website. So I'm going to go to the Target section. I'm going to select New Window. Now, that is a new blank window. The attribute blank is the one that you want that works. Then I'll click OK. That's all there is to it. I'll hit the preview button, and that's what it will look like, and I'll hit publish. I'm going to go to my website. I'm going to hit the refresh button for this browser. So now I see the new update of the page, and it says Lions Kid Site. Looks like I spelled it wrong. And then I hit the download button. It opens in a new page, and that is the consent form in English, just as I wanted. Uh, I will, of course, correct that spelling. Uh, thank you for joining us.